my name is Simone Hansen. I'm going to be teaching my younger sister the difference between count nouns and non count nouns through the method of cooking some food. Um, I've decided to make mochi for today's um, lesson. Okay, so first of all, uh, do you know what these items are? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so we have lots of different items here, like mixing bowls. Can you say mixing bowl? Mixing bowl. Uh, and um, we have different food items like sugar and coconut milk and water and stuff. Um, so, first of all, we need to identify what would you think a counting noun would be versus a non-counting noun. Uh, my first guess would be a counting noun is more than one syllable. <laughs> uh, a counting noun is a noun that can be counted based off of like how much there is. For example, flour is something that's kind of hard to count. If I, I mean, this is sugar. Sugar is something that's hard to count. If you look at the different pieces of sugar, there's a whole bunch of grains in here. Like, you can't say there's five sugars, for example. Okay. You measure more by weight or volume with that. Compared this, this to would be a, a mixing, yep, a this mixing bowl. This would be a counting this would be a counting Yep. This would not be a counting nut. Yep. These would not be counting notes. Yep. This would not be a counting note. A uh, plastic knife would be That a, would be a counting note. Yeah. So can you um, divide the different items of here by taking off the sticky uh -huh. notes and placing them underneath count or non-count note? Mix symbol. Yep. Cookbook. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Yep. Vanilla. I thought you were asking if you can get your name through there. It's on my cue. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Plastic That's knife. That's close enough. <laughs> Water. Uh, no, Rice flour. Potato starch. Baking powder. Okay. Oh, there's some um, coconut milk. Yeah, that's um, the differences. Food coloring. So non-count nouns and count nouns are um, treated differently in English, in English sentences. For example, in this Ziploc bag, I have two knives. And since there's two of them, the word knife gets an S added on to it. So does that so S gets added on to non-count nouns or count nouns? Count nouns. Yeah. Stick that up there. And um so there is can be used for either count nouns or non-count nouns when you're talking about kind of one entity. So all cane sugar goes under there is because you can't really separate it into different amounts uh, for counting. While count nouns will also have there are used depending if there's multiple amounts. So you could say there are two knives. And um, you could say there is one knife or there is um, water over here. Then there's how much versus how many. Um, the sentence would be how much do you want of something versus how many do you want of something. Um, yeah, how much goes under non count and how many goes over count nouns. And um, the reason is many is more like a more exact a number. When you're answering, when I, if um, you ask me how much of something I wanted, I'd answer with a little or a few compared to how many, you tend to do more like exact amounts, like how many knives do you need? I need one knife or two knives. So, uh... Well, you can also say how much can be categorized as like weight. Mm-hmm. But like... Volume. Volume. How much water, three cups of water, rather than um, a number amount. Um, so use how many in a sentence. Using something, one of the vocab words over here. How many bowls do you need to 
<laughs> no, we can take <laughs> Only one, because uh, unless you have like a whole bunch of stuff. But um, how about how much? Use that in a sentence. How much water do we need to make mochi? In our instruction book, we need two cups of water. Um, next is um, A and N. A and N could only be used with count nouns. So like I'd say I need a knife when there's one item. It cannot be used with sugar or any of the non-count nouns because A is like a single item of it. And since um, you can't really count non-count nouns, you can't use A with it. Okay. Oh, what? Um... Okay, I think that's good for now. So, let's start cooking and using this cookbook as an example. So I have my mixing bowl, and um, I need some mochiko rice flour. Can you hand me it? Awesome. How much is this? <laughs> One box. Mm -hmm. And is this a countdown or a non-countdown? Well, one box makes me think of count. Mm -hmm. The reason for this is that the container the items are in do not actually um, count for whether or not something's a non-count noun or a count noun. The box is a count noun, while the item inside the box is non-count. So, similar to how now we have a bowl of Machiko rice flour, the bowl is still a count noun. Well, the rice flour inside of the bowl is still a non-count noun. Uh, now we need two cups of sugar. Um, where are your cups? So next is we need baking powder. So um, how would I ask that question of the amount of baking powder needed? How much baking powder is needed? Yeah. <laughs> and we need one teaspoon of baking powder. Yep. How about with water? How much? We need two cups of water. The count is the can, but the stuff inside is the non-count. So we need a can of coconut milk. Similar how we had two cups of water. Mm -hmm. The cups of water were in, and the can, the coconut milk is in. So we need. We, you would ask how much coconut milk, and it'd be two cans. You wouldn't see how many. Oops. You would have to say how many cans of coconut milk to do that, because then you're referring to the cans. That's just than, one can. Yep. Awesome, got it up. So yeah, one can of coconut milk. What's the next thing on our list, Boo? We need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Yep.
And how much of the food coloring do we need? Four drops. It's in the behind it. So, what color do you want Pink. to think? Well, their colors suck. Promote <laughs> mm -hmm. you. So, four drops. Those are all the ingredients. So this is what mochi looks like when it's done. How would you count these? I would count them as count. Yep. One mochi, two mochis, I guess. Uh, yeah, it was just the way you phrased <laughs> it. I was like, I would count them like non-count? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to have that as a final product. Because all the things we made to make this were all non-count items. Uh -huh. So, and we made a product that was a count product. Yeah. So I just thought yeah. that was interesting.